am Leela Wright. We're at 55 Reservation Terrace on Plum Island. This is the Newburyport end of the island. So the situation here, the, this is the mouth of the river and the jetties that were reconstructed in 2014 and 2000, 2014 um, were extended. So when they extended the jetties, there was an area of the jetty, the small area here called the groin or the spur that was covered with sand at that point. And as the sand washed away from the water circling and basically just carving out this cove you see behind me, they realized that there was an error made. That was seven years ago. So we're still dealing with the fallout of that. Okay, as a Plum Island resident, how have you seen Plum Island change over the past few years? There have been a number of changes. Um, environmentally, we have seen the loss of sand, particularly along Reservation Terrace, along the river's edge. We're not actually on the ocean here. And how has this affected you as a resident? <laughs> um, well, twice a day, every day, you have to take into consideration the tides. You have to think about whether or not you want to schedule to come home or stay away in case you can't get into the driveway. Um, we've lost our driveway, we lost our water line, we've lost, I don't even want to guess how many hundreds of thousands of dollars of value in our homes. Um, to this, at this point, there's no pavement underneath us. We've lost it, it's, it's washed out. In trying to bring attention to it, you're always walking a very, um, almost like walking on a tightrope because you're, you're asking for attention and help to a situation that is not of your making. And when you're asking for assistance for somebody to come forward, you have to, um, you have to be really careful how you go about it. And, and we tried being quiet and we tried letting the politicians deal with it as that was what we thought needed to happen until we were about to lose our home. And then, what action has the city taken so far? So their initial action was to do the dune renourishment. That was actually in 2017, the first dune renourishment. The second one was in 2019. And what that was, was bringing in sand and planting seagrass. Um, when that didn't work, they tried these white bags that were called super sacks. And they were 3,000 pounds, giant circular sandbags. And they actually caused more damage than they did any good because they were round, the water washed around them and washed out all the sand around them and washed out the wall behind that and washed out the road behind that and after the road was our house. They did finally remove the sand, the majority of the sandbags in May and then they did nothing until this past, in September, they brought out a load of rock and some Jersey barriers just out here because at that point we were losing three feet a day. And we knew we had six days before we lost our house. So they did that and that kind of opened the path for being able to have what's here today. And now we have this very nice solid rock structure. We have core bags on either end, but if they, the dredge which was supposed to happen this year was, was delayed a year, if that does happen next year and they put 260,000 cubic yards of sand on the beach, then we'll have an opportunity to try to, you know, continue to work with the Army Corps of Engineers to fix the spur that will help solve this erosion problem.